they are taking you inside some unique places and spaces in our area for a show called Hands On Wisconsin. And places and spaces, I like. We gotta steal that. Well, there we go. Oh it airs right here on Local Five. Host Kimberly Sawyer and a familiar face, John Mino. Hello. Tell us all Everybody. about it. Welcome to the show. Well, first guys. of all, Tom Zalaski, if you're watching, you'll be really mad at me. I just used the last of the men's hairspray Ooh. in the break room. Just oh, let boy. you know. Well, this we is my life. Against you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we, I'm sorry, we should have brought you a little extra coffee. But it's nice to see both of you guys. Thank Introduce you. Introduce us to your show. It airs right here on Local 5. Yep. Go ahead, Kim. Yeah, yeah, so Hands On Wisconsin. John did this a couple years ago and asked me to co-host this year. I'm super excited about it. So we feature craftsmen, really neat locations and architecture, people who make really neat things. Just yeah. What else do we do? I don't know, whatever you see on HGTV, all those different shows, take yeah. a little element of all of them, and we put those all together on a local level. I yeah. love that. So what are some of the places? Where are you guys taking us for the show? Well, like this week's show, we're, uh, if you've ever been down, it's County Road PP, like Ledgeview, De Pere, and you've okay. seen these uh, these sculptures, these metal sculptures yes, out there. Yeah, yes. Yeah. We went inside and we visited this guy who does amazing work. Dave Windy is his name. He's a metal craftsman, metal artist, whoever you want to put it. And it's incredible watching him put these things together. That's like one tree with like a thousand nails. Here's the sculptures he does of horses and things like that. He's just absolutely amazing. It's just watching those kind of guys work is, is incredible. I mean, it's really cool. Then we have another gentleman down in, uh, he's a gentleman that passed away uh, just very recently in Manitowoc. His name was Bob Ayers, and he was a craftsman. Uh, he would carve out these signs that are just unbelievable. I mean, look at this work. Mm -hmm. wow. And unfortunately, he just passed away, and everybody in Manitowoc pretty much loved this guy. He's an mm. old-time coach and everything like that, and his work was amazing. 90% of them he would donate to charities and things like that. And then Kim had the opportunity to meet with some people who do amazing tile I work. I did, yeah. My friends Ooh. Callie and Caitlin over at the Tile and Stone Gallery in De Pere. So they do amazing work with kitchens, bathrooms, you name it. They can make you a drain so you don't have to pay $800. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, beautiful things. And it doesn't have to cost a ton of money. And so showing people how you can do mm. that. And the new you know, types of tile. Yeah. Never seen plaid tile. I know. That's, that's so like cool. the in thing now. That's like the cool in thing is plaid tile. Yes. It's yeah. crazy. It's then crazy. there's a gentleman from up around the Crivets area where when his uncle came back from World War II, he lived in this tiniest little cabin, look at this, wow. which was also the slaughterhouse for their farm. And he still <laughs> lived inside there. This oh is my. what he turned it into. Oh Everybody wow. wanted to knock it down. He used the old original door, all the original things from the building when his great uncle lived there, and that's what he turned it oh into. Oh my yeah. gosh, night and day, yeah. but still preserving that history. Exactly, it's exactly correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we met a couple where every single thing in their house oh. is from a flea market. Or a garage sale. When did or, you come and visit? <laughs> <laughs> or they build it out of barn wood and things like that. This, this couple, that, that's the main thing yeah. they do. Everything in their house is hand built what? or from like a flea market type thing. You know those people that just have that vision? Like, yeah. I, I don't have that. Yeah, they'll they see do. something yeah. like a, a junk pile or whatever yeah. and say, oh, that'd be perfect for our wall. Okay. No. Yeah, those mm -hmm. kind of people. Yeah, so something people can take away and maybe use in their own home Absolutely. for inspiration as yes, well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what is it like for you guys to be able to go into these places and bring a little bit of that creativity mm -hmm. that we have right in our own backyard Love it. to our viewers? Love it. And that's Love the it. thing with the HGTV shows. I mean, they're national. Those same types of skilled people are right here mm -hmm. within, what, 50 miles? Maybe oh, yeah. 100 at the most we've yes, traveled? at the most. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Another place we feature, we don't have video of, but her family turned this barn from 1920, mm -hmm. I think, that yep. had been their old tractor barn, into the greatest wedding type place oh, you'll ever see up in Dorchester. Yeah, yeah, Sawyer Farms in Egg Harbor. So I grew up going there with my grandparents, and now we have beautiful weddings there and any sort of event. And yeah, so it's been fun to feature that too. Well, sounds good. We are going to post a link on our page that okay. just so people can submit ideas because I know yes, you guys please. are constantly yep. looking for new places to feature. So if you have an idea for them for Hands on Wisconsin, we're going to post a, uh, a thing right on the Local 5 Live Super. Facebook page. Then Saturdays here on Channel 5 is when you're going to catch the show. Yeah. yeah, it's been bouncing around a little bit because of football and those games in London. Sure. <laughs> so normally we're scheduled for 1130. This Saturday we are at? Yeah, 12.30. 12.30. Okay. All right. Yes. Well, just keep us on all Saturday. That's the easiest Darn solution. NFL. That's what they yeah. do to you. Let's just say go Brewers, though. Yeah. There we go. Thank you both for being here. Thank you very much for having us.